Over the years, I've had many requests to do these corset piercings, but what most people don't know is they're almost always temporary. What do I mean by temporary? Basically, these are done for the photo shoot. They do the piercing, lace it up, take the pictures, and take them out. Now, I have seen permanent ones, but it's super, super rare. And keep in mind, the longer those are in there, the more they're gonna scar. As I just said, these are temporary piercings and you're not trying to heal this up. You're just gonna take the photo shoot and take it out. Therefore, these can be done almost anywhere on the body. And if it's a temporary thing, it's really not gonna leave much of a scar. Now, I've seen them done on arms, I've seen them done on stomachs, chests, backs, legs, even throats. Now, before you get started, make sure you map this out. Maybe get a piece of paper, draw out what you want, even use colored pencils or markers to show the color of lace and ribbon or whatever you're putting through there so you will be happy with the results. Now, since these are temporary, they're generally done with a cap to bead ring or just a cheap clicker or seam ring. Now, if you're trying to do these permanent, which is really difficult to heal, they're gonna be done with a dermal anchor or a surface bar. Now, with these surface bars, you're gonna get a ring on the top and bottom, so one piercing will get you two rings. If you're doing the dermal anchor, it's a single ring per piercing. Now, if you're trying to make this a permanent piercing, you're gonna to need to find an area of your body which is not gonna be hit a lot and doesn't move, which honestly is pretty difficult. So if this is just for show, a one-time deal, they don't need to really heal up other than the scabs on the top. So don't pick your scabs, that will cause a larger scar, and just take care of it. Now if you're trying to heal these up, the issues are numerous. They're constantly gonna be rejecting, shifting, you're gonna to have to have them redone, and it's gonna be a long, long healing process till they're all the way healed. I would expect a project like this could take probably a year to a couple years to fully heal everything up. With this many piercings, it's gotta be insane. Let's see what the painometer says. It, it kept dropping slow. You haven't seen this before because most of the time you're only getting one piercing and it's a spike. Now this situation is closer to a tattoo where the longer you sit, your endorphins kick in and each one gets a little bit easier and easier. But the beginning is going to be a little intense and as time goes on, it should mellow out a little bit. And keep in mind, every spot in your body is going to be a little bit different too. Not super common in everyday life, but every one I've ever seen has been super, super impressive. And the fun thing about this is you don't really have to heal them up. It's a temporary thing. It's going to look great. You're going to get your pictures documented forever under the best conditions. I think this is pretty cool. Now, if you're trying to heal this up as a permanent one, I'm not a super huge fan. I've done them before and it's a lot of work and it's a lot of disappointment because of the rejection and problems people have. But if you were able to do it, it is pretty epic. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is if you get this to heal up, you can't wear the ribbons every single day either. It doesn't allow you to move. So a lot of times you just have the studs in until you want to go out and then you might have someone lace it up at that point. Now, I know most of you have seen these before, or seen pictures. What do you think of it? Let me know. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. See you on the next video.